Okay, this is a quick video to explain how to process these point clouds from the experiments. And so Kristen has sent me a beginning and an end LAS file. There's also a absolute cloud to cloud difference file that she computed in Cloud Compare. Okay, let's just quickly look at the point clouds just to see how they are in using Cloud Compare. So here's the beginning, and very nicely shows the light-colored mound. You can also see the flag. Now if I sh put the end in, you can see there was a lot of erosion and change. we want to do is we're going to go to the um, last tool site and download the last tool software okay we want to <clears throat> put this last tools download in the directory while we're where we're working Okay, so once it's uncompressed, we can get rid of the zip file. And what we want to do is we're going to take these two files, so shift and select both of them, copy, go down into last tools and put them in the bin directory. And then here we see have many different small uh, applications that last tools can use. So if you um, just launch last tool itself, this is uh, the main kind of simple GUI for last tool. So if you browse, you can see our two files. So first thing is just double click on one. You go over here to LAS info and let's just run LAS info on it. And one nice thing about this is that we get this uh, kind of basically the command line ar uh, argument that you could use. So it's a good way to learn the command line for last tools. So we just say start. And so here we'll get the LAS info on that file. So looks like an okay LAS file. The main thing I'm looking for is how many points. So this beginning one is 1.39 million points. <clears throat> so that's good because we have a limit of 5 million points for the gridding in the free version of LAS tools. So let's launch it again and go browse to the the after last info run start and this one if we look at it has the uh, 1.25 million so similar point density in the two models so now let's run last tool again and let's pick the beginning one, double click on it. Now we're gonna run LAS grid on it. And the grid size, what I've learned is, it looks pretty good if we do a five millimeter grid size and um, do an average. And it's gonna come out as a ASCII file, uh, file format. So let's just run it. And so here you see it's going to take that beginning LAS file and spit it out as a ASCII file with the same name. And you can check it shows elevation average. So let's start. You can check if it's done if you go into that directory. Scroll down so we see there's the ASCII file. So um, now let's just do the after, or the end. And we see we have two ASCII files. So one thing you can do then is open the ASCII files in a notepad. So just open it's important just to 
we'll have a look at them. You're going to want to change the ending. So this is the beginning one. So this is the file format. So it's 102 by 102 rows. Um, gives the position. This is this local coordinate system cell size. And the where there's nulls, it just puts minus 999. So we scroll down, we can see there's some actual numbers. So each number is the elevation value in a pixel. So you would check the after as well. Now let's go into ArcGIS now and view these files. So here I have Arc running. I'm just going to add. Now in Arc, it doesn't really like the ASCII files, but it'll work with them. So you want to take the it makes there's a text file in there as well as the the actual grid ASCII file. So get the one with this little uh, icon look to it and add them both. And so there they are. So here's what it looked at the, at the beginning. See the elevations are in centimeters, basically the values are meters, but it's about seven centimeters high, it looks like. And then this would be the after. So you can make a hill shade of each one. So that's the beginning hill shade. Let's do it again for the end hill shade. Okay, there it is. So we can see begin and to begin and all right. So then the last thing we can do is go into what we can do is go into raster calculator, which is still under spatial analyst, and we're just going to do the uh, we want the beginning as ASCII grid minus the and ASCII grid. Put these in the diff 05. So this is just every pixel minus every other pixel. And it um, the nice thing is ARC adapts if, if there's it only finds where there's pixels in both cases. So I'll say OK. So there the difference is. And for this one, we should probably change the color scheme to one that sort of has a obvious zero middle value. So I like to do like it's hot to cold, say OK. And so there we can see where the value is positive, it's beginning minus end. So that would be erosion. Where it's negative, it's uh, deposited. And this maybe can be a little bit more nicely visualized with 50% uh, transparency over the end hill shade. Zoom in. So not too bad. Looks like you could even go finer resolution, maybe point the 2.5 millimeters, but this is pretty good. Other things we can do would be to look at a cross section. So if you do 3D analyst, pick the beginning layer and just draw a profile here. So that's what it looked like at the beginning. Now let's t turn the end on, but then make sure we're pulling it from the end DEM. Draw that same profile again in the same place. Now it'll slice it from the end and there. So we can see, kind of compare the profiles. And then you could do a diff uh, profile through the difference here. Draw one more. So this would be the erosion and deposition.